fans, U.S. Open us surfing. The beach is packed, and we are seeing progressive surfing on the lineup. We're in quarterfinal number four for the men, and a, quite a matchup. We have the Brazilian, Joao Chianca, against Austria. Ooh, and uh, Ryan left the back door open. And so that, and then this was the opportunity for oh, Chianca, Peter. Wow, and uh, you know, what a bonus for Chianca, because next wave was twice as big. And look at this finish. Oh, up and above the lip. That's a thing that Joao brings to the table, you know, approach, and it's just so cool to watch. Arkel on the answer back, big slash. Building up speed again, throws the tail, uh -oh. spins around the revert, no problem for Ryan Kalnan. Answering back to Joao Chianca. Looking for the connection to the inside here, has to press on the rocker, can't get over the hump for the, for the shore break. But a good answer. Um, I would have to say to Joao Shanka's eight, this is going to be uh, a nice answer to it. The ability to, for him to get this first turn at that level, throw that much around, and then get the speed back up, throw the tail towards the beach, and that's a really tricky section right there. There's Where does it go marks. in comparison? Ryan didn't allow Joao to run away with it right now. He's going to get a number on the board and come right back in, but Joao's going to continue to surf through here. Let's see what Chumbinho has in store for us on wave number two. Smooth through that transition section, sets up for the inside, and a quick one-two in the shore break. Ooh, but pull out. Ah, that happens over and over again. Running out of water there, right on the beach. Take a look here at the replay once again. Up, over, floats it. Straight up vertical hit. Not a lot of spray, but that was a tough section. But then here, just oh, trying to, if he pulls that off. Here we go. Arcal, again, moving into the pier and goes for that fin ditch grab rail, but incomplete. So all of the scores are really going to be leaning on uh, the first ride for Joao Chianca and the second ride for Ryan Count. Pretty quickly here. It's funny because Judge Four actually saw that the... We'll get back to that. Ryan Kalnan slashes through that section. Another slash for Arcal. Gets through some of the flat water, looking for the connection to the inside next to the pier. And it is some troubled water that he's going to have to bounce that JS through, pushing the rocker down, gets the connection, and a little <laughs> late there after all of that work. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel great. Well, here we go with the ride, Peter. Break it down. He's trying to fit these turns in the pocket. He does do two similar style turns, and he was hoping that this thing was going to wedge back at him. It didn't. And then all the work to get to this inside, and then all of a sudden he gets there. Just no time to be able to get back up there on the lip. A tenth of a point more from his previous effort. 5.77 is his requirement. Shianka on the backhand. Nice snap there. Quick feet, doubles it up, and gets through a little bit of the bounce there. Lethal backhand snaps make it two there for Joao Chianca. What do you think, Pete? Is he going to improve upon his 4.8? As we watch Joao on this replay here, what I love is how excitable he is. Yeah. You can tell he's literally frothing to hit these sections as they're coming out. And in that sense, we had the restart, and then I got the right, and it kind of it just dictated the rhythm of the heat. I just want to give him a good wave to start. So, um, yeah, we got the restart. It worked out in my my uh, favor, but um, I got to catch a lot of waves that heat, so that was nice. Every heat before that, I only caught like two waves, so it was good. How much does that give you confidence, even though some of those scores are throwaways, but how much does that give you confidence just catching that many waves in a heat? If he gets through this heat, he is guaranteed to, uh, if he wins this event, he will go to second on the rankings. So big opportunity for Arcal and that wave right in front of him did not present an opportunity. Um, but regardless, you know, it's going to be a keeper result when you're looking at your top four finishes. Of course, with the men, we take the top 10 at the year-end rankings. And with the women, we take the top five. Here we go with Ryan Callan is going to sell this one to the heat leader, Joao Chianca. Let's see what Chianca is going to do with his purchase. A couple of oh. snaps there on the backhand, just looking smooth. Now the transition period. Little Whitewater V is going to push him along into the shore break. Looks like he's going to have a golden opportunity in this shore break. Little carve for Chumbinho oh. and another off the top. He's been dominating in this quarter. How was the read, too, though? When he came back from that, because you go too far over on that left to be able to come back and catch that wedge, so important to do it. He did it, and look what he was got rewarded with. A nice little wedgy ride. Uh, it was like a, you thought it was a sell. You wanted to be able to do it, but this wave was awesome. I mean, two beautiful turns outside. I mean, look at this little drift. And then seeing, oh, I got to get over to this wedge, and he did it. No worries. 
Just a beautiful hook and then a finish. Yeah, he knew this could be, I would say, it's probably almost better than the eight. I feel like mentally when you're dealing with something like that, your fallback in these last couple minutes is that you trust that you can get it done. You know, Ryan, he's looking like he has a, a big road to hoe right here. He needs a 9-3, I believe. The tap of the wrist is a time thing, and he yeah. didn't have a watch, so he wants to know. Here we go. Joao, he's just staying busy. No harm, no foul, under priority. Might as well just ride waves. Meanwhile, Arkel out there with the anchor and ha needs a special wave if he wants to do it in one wave, a 9.33 P. You know, trying to figure out each everyone's personality, how to get them in the best place to compete is the real challenge. Joao, I mean, and that's... nothing going there, no problem. Again, he's just surfing underneath the priority of Arkel, Ryan Calnan. Ryan needs a wave, uh, he's got about minute 15 on the clock, so the pressure is getting applied to the Nova Castrian. Down to 10 seconds, and uh, it, the body language right now, sportsmanship, and it looks like Ryan Kalnan's conceding to Shumbinho, Joao Shianka. Shianka is on his way into the semifinals where he will match up against Evan Geiselman.